Orlando, can you take us through the process and, and how you ended up deciding to come back? Uh, it's a great question. It took, uh, you know, obviously there was a lot of, uh, uh, how would I say, uh, uh, a lot of decisions that had to be made uh, between myself and my family and a lot of praying, a lot of uh, weighing through things and uh, a, few a few days of uh, some uneasiness and uh, getting a chance to, to talk to Brad during those times um, was, uh, was really important and key in terms of being able to decide uh, what the next step was going to be for me and my family. And uh, um, we're really, really excited to be, to be coming back and seeing all of you and checking out this beautiful facility. And uh, I joked because yesterday got in yesterday. It's the first time that I got a chance to see everything. And was sitting with Joey and Fletch and thinking, man, you remember all the hours we talked about what we would like in this building and this and this and that. And now to see it live and in effect, it's, uh, it's impressive. It's impressive. What drew, what drew you back here? Um, <clears throat> the chance to work with Brad again, a chance to work with uh, Tim Anderson, and Jeff Alexander, and Joey Biggs. And the young gunners and, and, and Zach and and, uh, and Tyler and all those guys, uh, you know, the things that we were able to do here the first time around was, was special, and then we got the thing going. Um, obviously, my family and I continue to watch and support throughout the years that you know we weren't here, and um, you know, I just think we have a, a really good deep friendship uh, between everybody here on the staff. So it was a it made sense. What stands out to you the most about where the program's gone from since you left? Um, it's not surprising what is been, what's been happening, um, you know, because it, 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 it had started to, to head that way. And, you know, um, Brad's a phenomenal coach, an unbelievable motivator, a great recruiter. And now you add the support of the fan base, um, the excitement that's in the state, and even now across the country, um, I, I, you know, it was no surprise that it was going to continue to go that way. I mean, when we did this seven years ago with you, I mean, there was a lot of talk about what Illinois basketball could be. Was it like to come back to have maybe a cell like this is what Illinois basketball is? I, yeah, it is. I just want to make sure I don't screw it up. <laughs> you know, my job is to come in and, and, and try to be supportive of the, of the work that the guys have done here. Like I said, you know, Coach has done a, a great job of putting together an incredible staff, guys that work, um, guys that have – incredible relationships um, they develop players um, they got deep relationship with the kids and and their people you know throughout the country and I just kind of want to come in and, and be supportive of that um Brad and I have had a, a strong relationship for many years even prior to when I was uh, when I was coaching at South Florida um, I would run into him on the road and try to pick his brain on different defenses, different offensive philosophies. Um, obviously, he coached one of my college teammates in Willie Cauley, and then we were battling it out for his son on the recruiting trails when he was at South Carolina and I was at, and I was at Kentucky. So we've had our, our, our friendship and our relationship goes deep. And then, you know, my wife and, and his wife and his girls and um, just the families are, are really stay stay connected throughout the years, and it's a genuine friendship. Recruiting has changed a lot since the last time you were here. How, did, how has those changes with uh, the transfer portal and NIL impacted how you approach? Uh, you mean the recruiting? portal combating? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, it's just uh, it's, it's part of the landscape now that you have to adjust. Uh, the beauty of it is, like, like I said, one of the benefits that uh, the coach has is that him being a, a junior college coach, um, he had to do that a lot, an awful lot where you have to try to re re replenish and, and replace an, almost an entire roster every year. And it's the landscape uh, of basketball now. So, um, you know, it's a lot of juggling. It's a lot of trying to put the pieces together. It's a lot of conversation. Um, it's a lot of going back and forth and trying to make sure that the pieces are fit and that the, the kids are – that can come in and continue the culture that's already been established here. <laughs> Because of all the things I mentioned uh, prior to, um, you got unbelievable coach, you got unbelievable fan base. Um, you, you're able to recruit 
the top players in the country. And, um, you know, when you, when you get to a neutral site, that's where the impact of the fan base really happens. And, and uh, you know, that's when you get into the tournament and, and you are able to um, get a little bit of an advantage with that to be able to try to advance and to get to the last weekend of the, of the tournament. You're going to get a chance to work with a couple of young bigs. Like, what do you kind of know now about Kerry Bates? Uh, guys that are extremely talented, have a lot of ability. Um, I'm excited to, to try to deposit the things I can in them. Um, not that they need a lot, um, but uh, looking, looking forward to spending some time with them, getting to know them, them getting to know me and, and, and encouraging them, um, putting my arms right, uh, around them and, and then and pushing them. What did Brad task you with with Portal Combat? What would what, what he, what he say you need to go do now? We just, like always, we got to go get players. <laughs> we got to go get players. So we're uh, we're constantly working on that and and uh, scouring the uh, the universe. Let me just say that. I mean, recruiting is it still relationships even in this era? Like, how much does that still matter? You know, compared to prep recruiting. Um, it does matter. It, it matters a lot. I mean, the, the relationships is what gets you in the door. Um, then it's about what you can sell in terms of your program, your vision and all those things, and, and there's a lot to sell here, a lot. Brad mentioned international a couple of times. I know you've been overseas a time or two looking for players. Is that possibly expanding the footprint here for Illinois in that way this year? I think Illinois is a, is a global brand, and I, I don't see why not. Um, I don't think uh, we will limit uh, where the Illinois brand can go, and so we'll continue to try to expand that. Does the pool of players, both in the high school ranks and the portal, does that follow you from school to school or do you have to start over when you go to a new school? No, it's, it's, I mean, some, some will and some won't. It depends on relationship. It depends on opportunity. It depends on need. And so, you know, uh, every situation determines what those things can be. And, uh, you know, we will, we will look to see what pieces can fit. And then we'll go we'll try to recruit those kids uh, that meet the needs. No, I mean, I, was, I wasn't surprised because we have maintained throughout the years, you know, conversa you know conversations and, and uh, you know, I, I had to, a joke with him about, you know, taking the shirt off with the, with the gun. I said, next time, make sure you spray paint boxes. <laughs> <clears throat> and so, um, but yeah, I mean, it, it just, uh, you know, that, that instance just showed how much fun that team was having, how exciting it was. Um, but yeah, we, we've, we've stayed in communication throughout the years and just uh, shooting the breeze and uh, sharing philosophies and just chit-chatting. Accomplish a lot with Coach Calipari. What was it like just parting ways with him? I know his, with his new opportunity. Um, you, know, you know, Cal is, is, is one of the greatest to ever do it. And, and for me to be able to have um, nine years to have worked with him, learned from him, um, he's someone that I still consider a, a, a mentor. Um, you know, who I, I talked to last night. So, um, you know, and this business is all about relationships. And I and, uh, think when you go about things the right way, those relationships uh, withstand any kind of challenges, any kind of changes and, and those kind of things.